Should the enemy bombers or missiles get through and destroy SAC headquarters, there was an alternative plan to guide the mid-air B-52s to their targets. It was called Looking Glass. We also had uh, the Looking Glass, the SAC Airborne Command Post, which flew continuously uh, from February 1961 until 1991 uh, with a uh, SAC general officer on board with a full battle staff. Uh, those were eight and a half hour missions. They flew uh, three missions a day. And of course, that system was designed if Strategic Air Command headquarters was lost due to an attack, then that general officer would find himself uh, running the war and talking to uh, the Commander in Chief, the President of the United States, and the Secretary of Defense. Uh, I was privileged to fly 358 of those missions in the 10 years I was a SAC General Officer. This flying command center was a vital linchpin in the doomsday scenario. But thankfully, it was never needed, as just one misguided bomb would have resulted in a nuclear catastrophe, with potentially not a single living thing left alive on the planet.